well, well, well. Yes. That is what's going on here. Another piece of puzzle that Dr. Z is creating. And you see all this, and you know what it means. But he is far, far behind by cleaning this mess. These are screenshots. They're supposed to be already in pieces of puzzle. Instead, she started the new one. Terrible. And what is this new one about? It's another thought experiment about the thoughts experiment about how we think we people, normal people. Dr. Z is a normal guy, but he is trying to get to his super normal self. The self, apparently, according to that understanding at this level, is an idea existing as a part of a super ideas. Meaning, superconductivity, that's it. He's not going there any, anyway. He cannot explain what he shouldn't explain. You're supposed to get there on your own and understand how yourself is a part of that super idea, a cloud of cells. That's it. Now, this piece is very, very simple. <laughs> it's supposed to be. But it's getting complicated because... So, this Dr. Z, the guy who is talking to you now, he has a voice. Boring, boring voice. He... Unfortunately or fortunately, created that guy who is basically like very, very uh, foggy image yet. Yes, how does he look like? Well, he looks like Dr. Z because Dr. Z just reflected him in that uh, world of ideas and that's what it's about. It says he reflected himself in the imaginary space of ideas. And exactly as people to be specific, and he wanted to give here a reference to, to mathematicians. It's supposed to be Italian mathematicians, supposed to be 16th century, who invented it. So he decided to check. Well, why is it this I here? So, who invented imaginary numbers? And here is a brief history of these complex numbers, I'm talking about imaginary numbers. And And more who discovered imaginary numbers. So he was supposed to include as many, he needs to play this game in different formats. Right now, that piece of puzzle, and we jump back in that hyperspace okay, of links. And here is not even links, it's just a bunch of uh, tabs opened in one browser. And uh, this is supposed to be informal here because this is a screenshot from his actual LinkedIn account. But at the same time, 
she sees this and she says, wow, quarter. Let me drag in these guys. And, and here it says something. This is supposed to be an example of collective wisdom. The guy comes, puts a question, and here he gets different old answers. And look, they keep that statistics, which is excellent. This is exactly that part of the game that Dr. Z couldn't implement. Well, this guy is talking that it's even like 50 years AD. Iran. Well, spreading the volume of an impossible pyramid came upon expression. And he just gave up this idea, apparently. Okay, so that's it. What? Okay. All right, this is not related, this is just an ad. So, what? Anyways, you can read it. Doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like you'll get something deep here, but this is interesting. So how do you explain the imaginary number to a layman? And what? Now I have to log in. Well, too bad. They don't have good answers anyways. So you go back and and you look at these people, mass forum. They are supposed to give something useful and uh, it's National Council of Teachers of Mathematics and. Uh, Dr. Math apparently answering those questions. So here is the person asking the question, and here is to ask Dr. Math. Was an interesting question after some research. He had to do that. The, the Mac Tutor Math History Archive, the fundamental theorem of algebra, it says Cardan was the first to realize that one could work with quantities more general than the real numbers. Uh, well, basically, you can go and see that history on your own and dig in it. 
and it's not exactly clear it says the conclusion is that probably Girolamo Cartano or Cartan, which was 16th century, can be credited with the discovery of imaginary and complex numbers. And uh, they said Leonardo. U Leonard de Euler and Carl Friedrich Gauss, they developed the concept. So, this is will be a good answer for us. We'll just, based on this research, we can go and check uh, the uh, Wikipedia. But we'll stop here and say that's good enough. And we'll just uh, go here and say exactly as people, to be specific, center, 16th century mathematician. And we don't want to misspell that name. We'll say here. And we'll put it here. Well, formatting here is different. So it's a new decision. In the imaginary space of imaginary numbers. Exactly, as people to be specific, this guy invented imaginary numbers by reflecting real numbers in the imaginary space. <laughs> well, you guys are supposed to fix it for measuring numbers. Reflect it. On cell. The imaginary himself of Z oh. C I Doctor Z Oh that doesn't look nice meaning this is imaginary guy and we're trying to give him kind of distinct him from real dr z dr z one
right so that's the idea that we want to invent this guy well, he already there dr z is talking to you but dr z is just uh, like his voice and his machinery his material self is kind of hijacked by that idea of dr z1 that imaginary guy and he captured the uh, microprocessor the that portion of the brain that generates ideas and it's like uh, dr z real guy is trying to self-hypnosis is is trying to hypnotize himself to believe that that imaginary guy can live on his own and it's exactly as in that uh, idea of Fernand what was his name Portuguese writer who invented 72 copies of his cell and they were all different they were not supposed to be as him as himself they were just different people with different ideas and he tried to live through them his life so what was his name do you remember okay so let's see no okay well dr z has an idea what was his name but he kind of forgot so let Pause him for a second because it becomes so boring and let him find what the name. All right, so we are back. Look, tried different things, didn't work, but finally he's got this. That's the name. Okay, so this guy, Fernando Pessoa he invented well that's all he has well let's jump in this this window a different window well if you do this you'll be in a different window so fernando pisar and you can read on your own about the life of this Portuguese boy who invented 72 heteronyms. Dr. Z is seriously thinking about submitting a request to Guinness Book of Records about this man who lived his life unrecognized that much nobody knew him and only recently apparently some people started doing research because it's amazing what he came up with he's an inventor of himself he invented his own heteronyms and he kind of suffered an entire life his own and uh, his heteronyms because nobody recognized him that much apparently well he was known in some literature circles in portugal but uh, not as an inventor of his books and more importantly of his own selves where he was writing 
thinking that uh, other people write for him and they said he was obviously was interested in spiritualism and is a religious movement based on the belief that the spirits of the dead exist and have both the ability and the inclination to communicate with living. The afterlife or the spirit world is seen by spiritualists not as a static place, but was one in which spirits, well, do you believe in spiritualism? <laughs> Maybe not, right? It was discredited so many times, their beliefs and the way they do it. But what is Dr. Z doing now? He is creating a spirit of Dr. Z number one, his first reflection. That guy will be sitting in his imaginary world and doing exactly what Dr. Z is doing. He will be playing his reality life in that imaginary world that unfortunately he didn't invent. It's this real guy, Dr. Z, is inventing for him. But it all depends who is talking to you. So now we were looking for the guy who actually deliberately created a whole bunch of avatars, not like those, where is that, not like these avatars who are living in this virtual space, but avatars who are living in the virtual space of his mind. And uh, it's nice to have those visuals because he cannot clearly see those avatars. He just say, hey, there's an avatar, that's it. But to see exactly how that avatar looks like and where is he's going, this is nice. So this is why we will have more and more of this. And in fact, in fact, some of this, which one? Those will be, uh, yeah, some of this they captured. They captured this imaginary image of his self. And that is one example. This is just a silent movie. And you see his name, which wasn't supposed to be here, his true guy. It was supposed to be Dr. Z. He updated it, but they're showing this because uh, apparently he logged in when the avatar was supposed to have the real name now and it's just to show you that it's beautiful nice to have that mental image in this case it's not mental it's a real image of uh, just the uh, virtual world I'm getting too complicated, and it's all right because it's almost 3 a.m. And uh, you see, you see how it uh, loops on itself. Well, and by the way, in different formats. Oh, there is an AGI format. Wow, that's nice. So, in which format do you want to exist in? in video or give and that is not a rhetoric question dr z this is a very specific question it's the same thing video 
showing the same exact stuff, but in two different formats. And it's the same as any screenshot. You take just a static screenshot. Well, this also will take you there. What does this show? Okay. This is another idea, but let's say that this page not found, doesn't work for some reasons. All right, so the here, here is another video while he was signing up and there are these uh, problems with the website. And he just captured to show them, I guess, uh, you know, we definitely are very small, tiny people and have these issues, but you are really big trying to grow. So there are some problems with your website. And uh, we hope that if you discover those problems, you let us know. So the idea was like, if you have your own picture, You want to be in which format? You want to be saved in JPG format or TIFF or whatever? Well, that's a different question. And we're going back to this because that video, that's where it's supposed to be. And as usual, as usual, this Dr. Z was wandering everywhere through all that space of ideas before he came back with that stupid video. Well, does, how does he know? Is it stupid or is it supposed to be that way? Well, if it came out that way, it means according to the his definition of reality, that's how it's supposed to be. But is it supposed to be that you, and he doesn't have single idea who that you is but some one of you guys supposed to fix it so you if you're supposed to be the chosen one then you choose to be the chosen one maybe the very first chosen one who choose to be the chosen one and who will fix that takes out all that junk and puts his own maybe not junk we don't know yet because it will all depend when we have a whole bunch of these versions of this piece of puzzle. We need to have different versions. This is 1.0. And then people come and raid, and the best ones go to the top. And that is how we're supposed to work as a collective consciousness, collective creativity, collective mind we're supposed to come up with unified piece of puzzle like unified theory you know that this is unified theory of that piece of puzzle agreed that this may be at this moment in space time mind continuum it's the best version instead of like each little cell like Dr. Z is a cell on the body of humanity. And that body is changing and that it's evolving, it's growing through space, time, mind, continue. So now we scale <laughs> a completely different world in a completely different virtual space. You understand that in that uh, continuum, five-dimensional, the mind continuum. You can see it inside Dr. Z's, your own mind, first of all, and other people's mind, like Dr. Z, when you exchange the ideas. Well, unfortunately, can develop direct exchange of ideas on that uh, quantum level, because somehow, what do you think the, the quantum entanglement is? It's transfer information through this space almost immediately. 
Well, they said it's immediately, but in reality, it's almost immediately. And we know it's limited that space, like 150 something miles. Particles fill apart. Now, these people, even though they can be living really close, the ideas don't resonate. So if this idea doesn't resonate, and resonate spelled the way same way as word reason, but means resonance, like in physics. And by the way, thermodynamics of resonance is a different different topic and Dynamics of even it doesn't even know resonance. Apparently, nobody was looking that much for this. Okay, so here we have some papers who did that. Okay, delta is an us. Okay, resonance energy. Well. Well, you want to see this? Well, well, you guys cannot hear what he is saying, but if you did, I'm sure you would appreciate the Indian accent and uh, maybe a mixture of Indian and English because Dr. Z could get on the few words that he said in English and maybe that is the entire truth that he needs to know. All right. So imagine someone comes to you and he knows that truth and he wants to tell you and you cannot understand a single word. The same if Dr. Z is will switch to Russian and start speaking in Russian. The point, ребята, нет, что все... Я в голову этот доктор Зи несчастный. Oh, did you understand what he said? Even if he translates you the last phrase, that this miserable Dr. Z said into Galosha. You know what Galosha is? Let's see if he can show you what Galosha is. Galosha. 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 Azerbaijan. No, Galosha. All right. So, we have to do this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. That's a rubber made shoes. And go here. The watches. So how come they don't have that uh, 
Резиновый ботинок. Correct. So. No. Not все в голощу. Голошу. That in Galosha. Can you believe that? That's what the modern level of machine intelligence. It's it's a self galosho means uh, it's an expression. Self galosho, correct. Did you mean голос self galosho? No. Self galosho is correct. It's not set in, in Halosha, no. Well, that's okay. So that interpreter, self Galosha, means uh, uh, look stupid. So we cannot tell you what was the origin of this, but we can maybe change the title here and say and say here not Kalosha Galosha come on Well, the interpreter now set in in, in Galosha. Too bad. Anyways, we'll stop this. Too stupid. <laughs>